you are not going to want to miss today's video. I'm going to take you actually inside three homes inside of Stanton's fastest growing neighborhood. And you are not going to want to miss out on the story that I tell you about the last home that I show you today. So let's go ahead and get started right now. Hi, my name is Leslie, along with my husband, Stefan. We are local real estate agents here in the area. And if you like what you see on Virginia Mountain to Valley Living, we encourage you to click that subscribe button and touch that bell icon so that you won't miss out on any of the episodes that we share with you. And if you are interested in buying a house or selling a house here in the area, please get in touch with us. All of our contact information is in that description below. Feel free to reach out and call us, text us, email us. We do actually pick up the phone and I actually do answer those emails. Okay, Stefan, before we get started showing everybody the houses today, I am going to need some caffeine. No, you do not. Yeah, I do. It's before <laughs> 3 p.m. Oh, when this place closes. <laughs> So I got some caffeine. Mm. So we're actually sitting in Northridge Cafe and Coffee. It is a fast, um, casual, I guess you could say, little coffee shop that serves breakfast and lunch and of course caffeine that we need. You are going to really appreciate the food that they serve. All of their produce is here locally grown and it's a lot better for you than those fast food chain type coffee places. So I encourage you to check them out and give them a try. You're going to enjoy the vibe that you get in here and especially if you've got some computer work that you've got to get done. But now that I'm well caffeinated, it's, it's half gone, <laughs> well, now that I'm well caffeinated, how about we go show them those houses? All right, well now that we have the coffee queen well caffeinated. Do you see that? See what? It, it went by real fast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's us go by real fast. Okay. Boy, she's a, she's a handful when she gets caffeinated. So anyway, uh, you know, the Old South neighborhood, I want to give you a little bit of basic information about it. First of all, uh, the Old South neighborhood here, we've seen 20 homes sold in this neighborhood in the last two years. Yeah. And uh, so why is it one of the fastest or the fastest moving neighborhood, the fastest fast. selling area here in uh, the Stanton area? Well, a couple reasons. And uh, one of those reasons is straight ahead of us here, right? Show, show, show now, them what now you we... You kind of see between the homes yeah. too. But if I get up here, you can see the beautiful mountains and the valley, the Shenandoah Valley is behind me. And I'll put some pictures up so you can see that a little bit better, but that is uh, an absolutely amazing views up here. They are beautiful. Uh, and, and the way they've landscaped the homes, yes, many of them sit on a hillside, but it just is really some dramatic views. It just really is. They are. Now, additionally, the neighborhood also has only one way in and one way out. Very so private. it's kind of a, a semi-private type neighborhood and it's off Highway 11 here and not a whole lot of people you know, really even know that it's here because no. it doesn't have a big sign out front and things like nope. that. So, so a couple, those are a couple of reasons. Now I want to go ahead. I also want to give you um, some basic information about the neighborhood. Uh, first of all, homes in this neighborhood sell between about 300,000 and excuse me, the upper 300,000s mm -hmm. and about $550,000. Um, there have, uh, there are currently four homes that are on the market. Uh, two that actually are pending right now. Yes. One of them we're going to take a look at today. That's right. And um, the uh, they started building here in 2008, and obviously they are continuing today. Why don't we turn around? Maybe we, oh, maybe they can see those views. views. <laughs> so they're awesome. And uh, so now, additionally, the there's these homes are three to five bedroom homes. They have between about 1,500 and 3,500 square feet of finished living space and they sit on smaller lots they're about 0.17 to 0.35 acres and uh, like I say we're going to tell you more about these but right now we're at one of the homes here the first one that we want to take a look at here now I'm going to have Leslie go ahead and go on up and uh, she's going to unlock it and we're going to go in and we're going to take a look at this first home all right let's take a look at 121 Chamberlain Drive here in Stanton what do you think of this porch? I would personally be putting chairs out here, a table, and 
The views are amazing from this front porch. I'd definitely be enjoying my morning coffee here. Another thing that I want to point out to you, this is a Cape Cod style home. Um, all three of the homes that I'm going to be talking to you about today do feature this hardy plank siding. It is a new building material that the builders have been going to. Rather than doing the vinyl, it is very sturdy. It's not, you know, you don't get to ding it. Um, the stone in the front of these homes in this neighborhood is a bonus added feature that is lovely. So let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what this home has to offer. As soon as you walk in, you're going to see a little office space with a window. Of course, I would be looking out the window and not getting any work done because I love the mountain views. The next room that you're going to see is the powder room, a little half bath that the guests can use because they want to come see all the views that you now have in your new home. This home also features a main floor laundry space, which is huge. And all three of the homes that I'm going to show you today do feature two car garages, which is great. Now, the home also um, has a, this beautiful stone fireplace. It is gas and this is beautiful brick. There is an open concept and a lovely cozy feel in this house as well. The kitchen, um, let's talk about the covered porch first. This covered patio space offers you a concrete pad, a fan to help cool you off on those summer evenings when you're gonna be out there barbecuing with the family. The kitchen offers you a nice nook to put a table and chairs, nice bar space. You can probably get about three bar stools under this. It does have some white granite countertops. I love the nice, clean, polished look that it has. The other thing that this home has is the soft closed drawers and doors on all the cabinetry that you're going to be seeing throughout this home. Now, one of the things that I get asked a lot is, does this home have a pantry and how big is that pantry? Well, this home has an amazing pantry space that you can even expand, add some more shelves to. It's gonna hold all the groceries that you're ever gonna want. This home also does tell you, show you a lovely large sized um, primary bedroom here. It has enough space for a king size bed and dressers. Ceiling fan above to help cool you off too if you like a ceiling fan. Has a primary bathroom that has tile flooring. Dual sinks, again with that soft closed drawers on the cabinetry. But the thing that I love that this builder did, by the way, the builder is Owen Construction. He is a local builder here in Stanton and he did a lovely job on this home. He put a bench in that shower. He must have heard me complaining about some of the builders who, who didn't put a bench in their showers. The, the um, primary closet space is large. You again can expand that space. It also has the luxury vinyl planking that you're going to see throughout all of these homes. So now let's take a look at the bedrooms and the bathroom that are upstairs. Okay, like I said, this is a Cape Cod. So there are going to be two amazing bedrooms up here on this space with a nice landing space that you can put some extra whatnot. And yeah, that bedroom right there that Stefan's in, it's the one with the amazing views. So if I was the kid who wanted the views, I'd be claiming this room most definitely. It's also the bigger of the two bedrooms. There is also, let's take a look at this. There's also this lovely big shared bathroom with dual sinks. Again, with the soft closed drawers, there is a separate water closet room for the toilet in the tub as well. There is some tile on the floor and it also has a linen closet out here for all that extra stuff you need. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next house, okay? All right, how's that coffee doing? 
Uh, it's starting to wear off. I oh may need goodness. another cup. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, well, no, no more coffee for oh, you. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry. So a little bit more about the neighborhood. Now with over 80 houses here in this neighborhood, neighborhood there really is a whole variety of homes here you've got ranch style homes uh, cape cods like the one we just looked at mm -hmm. uh, two-story homes uh, and like i say just uh, you, it's not just one style of home now additionally you've got some green space here in the area as well and you've got some walking trails and along with that um, there is a very modest hoa fee for the upkeep of those trails and the roads as well it's only about 28 dollars a month, dollars so. a month. All right, well, we're here, right? We are here. It didn't take us so, long. So, we're here at... <laughs> get you to come this way. <laughs> we uh, are here at 125 Chamberlain. 125 Chamberlain. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit again about 125 Chamberlain. And Leslie's going to unlock the door go so we can door. take a look go at ahead. it. All right, if you thought 121 Chamberlain had a big front porch, this one has an even bigger front porch. So, I could even put a couch and a chair and a table out here and drink my coffee. What do you think? Well, I don't know, I, I think it's a pretty good idea. All right, let's go ahead and go into this next Cape Cod style house, also built by Owen Construction. Let's go in and take a look. So you are going to walk into an incredibly open concept house. Again, luxury vinyl planking floor. This also has a brick style gas fireplace, which is also equally gorgeous, like it was in the last house. Again, open concept and set up a little bit differently than the last house. You have the eating area in the middle, but like the other house, this also has granite countertop. It's not white. It is the black and tan and gray speckled type of granite. It's also just as beautiful. This home also features the soft closed cabinetry and uh, the bar stools can fit under here, like three of them under here as well. Has some cute, you know, lights in the house as well. So again, y'all are asking me about that pantry space. Well, isn't this an adorable pantry space? It has this barn sliding door, which is super cute, but check out inside there. Look at all that space that you've got to store all the groceries that you ever wanted. So uh, this home has a, uh, doesn't have a covered patio space, but it does have a concrete pad out there that you can relax in the evenings. This one also has, the primary bedroom is on the main level. So let's go take a look at it. It's gonna also feature a very large space for you. Um, the powder room, let's, let's stop off at the powder room first. Powder room here is tucked away a little bit, but it, and it is a little bit bigger than the last house that we saw. The uh, master bedroom also features that luxury vinyl planking, tile in the bathrooms, has a little bench in that shower, go check it out. It has some really nice luxury style black spa type feel in this one dual sinks and a lot of space in this one nice split master closets or primary closets in this one so it has you know if there's two people sharing this bedroom they can both have their own separate closet in this house now the laundry room you are going to find on the main level in this house as well as the two-car garage Let's take a look upstairs at the extra two bedrooms and this home has a bonus space that I think you're going to like. All right, this home has two bedrooms in the back of the house or rather in the front of the house that show those mountain views and they are both a very large space, large closets and just a lot of space in these two bedrooms up here. Take a look at the next one. It's even larger. You could use this as a gaming space, as another family room, hangout space if you wanted to. And it's a very large space. Let's take, let's take a look at this closet. This is a nice size closet space as well. 
All right, so you're going to have another shared bath, dual sinks in this bathroom as well, tile on the floor, that farmhouse style look on the light fixtures is going throughout. But like I told you, this house has a bonus room that's not finished. You can finish it however which way you want. It could be another master bedroom, a primary bedroom for you. It could be a gaming room, kids hang out, office space. It is just a bonus feature. Now in this house, the seller is offering you a $10,000 closing cost credit if you get an accepted offer on this house. Bonus feature as well. So hope you've enjoyed the two houses that we've taken a look at so far. All right, okay. well, it's on to number three here. And I my, my have, caffeine's wearing off. Uh oh, well, we better get going then. I know you got a special story about this one too. I do have a special story so, about this one. But before we get there, a couple more tidbits here about the Old South neighborhood. Now, I mentioned earlier it was just off Highway 11, and it is. It's very conveniently located. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you're only about five minutes away yeah. from Interstate 81, and you're about eight to ten minutes from downtown Stanton, and also from the where a lot of the shopping and mm -hmm. dining is along Highway. 250 here in Stanton as well. Additionally, you've got eight universities, including JMU, UVA, uh, Mary, Baldwin. Mary Baldwin in Stanton, and, and, and like I say, five others here in the area that are within 35 miles yeah. here of the area. So Absolutely. very conveniently located for those as well. Now, uh, additionally, you're only about 15 minutes away from the Augusta Health Center. I talked about that before. Yep. But like I say, it's a really neat place. Well, I don't know if it's a neat place. I've been there, but, <laughs> but, but it's a neat place if you need help. Let's put it that yes. way. So, but with that being said, I'm going to turn around here and I'm going to show you Go ahead and our show next them. house across the street. And as you can see behind there, there's some beautiful views. We're going to show those to you and we're going to talk about it here in just a second, but I'm going to have Leslie once again, go open everything up and I'll give us some information here before the home, before we go in. All right, welcome to 114 Chamberlain Drive. This home is built by Devers Properties. It is a south facing property and a two story farmhouse with again, the hardy plank siding. But a special thing about this house, it does face south. So if you wanted to put solar panels on the roof of this house, it is set up ideally for that. Let's go ahead and take a look inside this house. All right, upon entry, you have a beautiful two-story atrium foyer with stairs to the ceiling. <laughs> but let's take a look at this main floor. Again, we have some of the luxury vinyl flooring, which is amazing. Behind this door, you're going to find a half bath that the guests are going to be able to use. And across from that is a huge closet. But this is the room that I really want you to take a look at. Isn't this beautiful? Again, with the views, you can sit here in this lovely living room, enjoying that beautiful electric fireplace. You can put the heat on or not put the heat on. You can just enjoy the view of the changing colors inside that fireplace. I think it's a cool feature. You can put your TV above it, ceiling fan above, beautiful kitchen space again with a bar. Now in this house, as opposed to the last two that I showed you, this house has marble countertops, which I think are absolutely gorgeous. They have little specks in them of little, I don't know, it's kind of an iridescent color. They're just beautiful. Check out that farm style sink as well. That is something that a lot of buyers are looking for, the nice deep farm style sink, a downdraft electric stove with a beautiful hood above it. And you know, it's got a coffee bar area for you to do that. Of course, you know, coffee, it's important. We gotta have a coffee bar. So <laughs> it also has, as in the other two houses, this one does have a pantry space as well. This one's not as large as the last two homes, but it is equally just, you know, just as roomy. It also has, if you've got 
uh, kids or you know you just want some place to hang your coats and throw shoes when you come in from this two-car garage now in the last two houses I didn't show you the two-car garage but I'm going to show you this one because it has a cool feature now if you are interested in electric vehicles this one is already set up to plug in an electric vehicle it also has a hardwired networking box as well so this is a feature that the other two houses didn't have they went above and beyond in this one it also has a water spigot inside which is pretty cool if you want to wash your car in the winter inside the house so all right are you ready to go upstairs because in this house there is not a primary bedroom on the main level all the bedrooms are upstairs as well as the laundry room let's also oh i forgot let's take a look at that view one more time you can't miss this view i mean this is the best feature of this house i think is this amazing view and the sun is going down and you're going to get this rosy glow that we get on top of the mountains all right let's head upstairs and let's take a look at the bedrooms up there all right welcome to the upstairs of this modern farmhouse the back bedrooms have amazing views of the mountains and it has carpet on the floors in these bedrooms um, which is a little different feature than the last two houses that we looked at the uh, shared bathroom which is a cool feature here it has dual sinks in it as well I love these mirrors. They're light up mirrors in this house. They are so cool. They also change colors. <laughs> I just have fun playing. This is the second bedroom here. Um, it also has amazing views of the mountains there in the back of the house as well. So nice size closet spaces too as well up here. And lovely color pattern on the walls as well this one has like i said second floor laundry so bedrooms are up here so is the laundry you don't have to take them downstairs which is amazing all right let's take a look at this primary bedroom it is huge it's a lovely size has a fan that not all the builders do put in their houses and you can get a king size bed in here and have room left over the bathroom it also has dual sinks but check out that shower it is a lovely tile and then stone on the floor of the shower again with the mirrors that change the colors and all the things how fun is that this house does have led lighting throughout which is going to save you also on your energy bills this bathroom has tile floor which is also just as nice check out the master closet it has some custom shelving and racking in there as well and it's expandable you can add more shelves and and more closet space in there if you wanted to as well so okay i hope you have enjoyed this cute two-story modern farm style house All right, at the beginning of the video, I told everybody that I was going to share with you a little story about the last house that we saw. And other than the amazing views, I have a heartwarming story to tell you about the buyers of this house. They called me last week after a really disappointing, uh, they, they tried to, to purchase a house, it didn't work out, and it was really disappointing to them. So anyway, they called us because they had started watching our YouTube videos and they said, we think you can help us. Would you mind showing me some houses tomorrow? So I was able to set up some showings. This house that we are at is actually one of the houses that we saw. And as soon as they saw it, they fell in love looked at a couple of ones afterward and they were like no we really really like that two-story modern farmhouse that you showed us with the amazing views I think we want that one so 
Uh, the other part of this heartwarming story is, is that he is a veteran retired from the Navy and we absolutely love helping our veterans out. We've actually made a video about some of the benefits that you can receive as a veteran here in the state of Virginia. So anyway, calling, texting and emailing us does work. We were able to get this house for just slightly above the list price and we loved helping them out. So with that being said, and the sun going down. We hope you, if you have a real estate need, do pick up that phone, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email. We would be happy to help you find the home of your dreams here in the Shenandoah Valley. And I think this is definitely one of the homes of your dreams with those views. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get this everywhere. You just, can't, you just can't get it everywhere. But like I say, we hope you've enjoyed the video. Yes. video. Hope it's been a help to you. But like we always say at the end of every one of our videos, I know. until next time, we, we will, will see you around, around town. town.